Sarah and giving me the opportunity to speak a little bit about our uh, Ravenna project, the uh, project, the CCS uh, hub that you are uh, in the process of starting in the Mediterranean, in Italy. Um, this presentation will be an overview, let's say, of the, of the project uh, and what I would like to give you uh, as, uh, as an idea uh, is um, more than the technicalities uh, on which I will, will be happy to answer uh, everything you want uh, and everything I will be able to answer, uh, more on the process of the plan and how, uh, this, let's say, we have, mm, we have developed uh, this, uh, this hub. Okay, I don't think I need to convince anyone here in this room uh, um, that CCS uh, is a good uh, decarbonization lever. I think we all agree on that, uh, but uh, I would like to focus a little bit uh, on uh, um, the fact that we need CCS also to become an economic uh, uh, matter, let's say. We have to move that out uh, of, uh, um, it, it has to become a business. Um, otherwise, uh, we will not be able to apply that uh, to the scale and with the speed uh, that we need, that we know we need. Um, and uh, to start the discussion on this, uh, uh, I'm just remembering what uh, uh, yesterday we already heard from, uh, from Chris Bolesta. Uh, we are targeting uh, mainly industrial emitters. Um, with the possibility, of course, of having also power plants connected, uh, if uh, that's, uh, let's say, convenient for the power plant owner. Uh, but we are specifically targeting uh, um, heavy industry and hard to abate uh, um, sectors. Um, I would like to also highlight that uh, at the moment we are still in the first phases of this, uh, of this market. So it's very important uh, to focus on projects which are uh, cost-effective, uh, which are uh, quick uh, to develop, uh, so that we can, we can show investors, uh, uh, regulators, uh, the public industry, that this is something which is real, this is something which can really help them and uh, be a, 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 a real solution. Um, okay, I don't think we need to go through the numbers, uh, but uh, the bars on the right uh, stand just to demonstrate uh, how important uh, CCS will be in the next uh, 30, 40 years uh, uh, for uh, contributing to, to our climate targets. Uh, the, the different scenarios give different numbers, but 10% uh, is not something we can neglect in any case. It has been uh, probably reduced a little bit uh, last week by year, but it's still 9%, so it's not something we can uh, not uh, tackle. Okay, ENI uh, has developed uh, a, an approach to these projects uh, um, based on uh, what I was saying before. Uh, we are an energy company. We know our, let's say, our heritage is in drilling, is in exploration, uh, is in the subsurface. So we are starting from that. We have, mm, we have um, started a business unit where I, I work, a dedicated business unit, business unit for CCS, uh, but we are starting from our heritage. So we are starting from our assets, which are the depleted reservoirs that we have uh, around the Mediterranean and also in the North Sea, and developing those for, first uh, as, uh, let's say, um, I was, as I was saying before, the more convenient assets, the more convenient uh, hubs to start uh, from. Um, these hubs are also very close uh, to industrial sites, so this is uh, a plus given that we are focusing on industry. And as I was saying, uh, given that we have uh, already infrastructure in place and we can uh, reuse at least part of that infrastructure, this leads to some uh, savings that uh, allows to, for the project to be more uh, cost effective, also being less expensive for the emitter in the end. Um, we are also we have recognized that, uh, at least we st when we started here in Italy especially, there was uh, a lot of necessity to guide some, uh, uh, some emitters, some, uh, some industrial players, because they didn't know what uh, CCS was. They had, maybe they had something, cement players were those were a little bit more uh, inside the CCS, but other industries didn't know anything. So uh, we also recognize that we need uh, to have a role of uh, guidance, of orchestrator, I don't like that word, but th that's what we call it, <laughs> um, 
helping them to find the best solution for them, uh, also on the capture side, which is there, let's say, in their perimeter, but we can help them to select the best solution. We can help them uh, find, uh, or providing also shipping solutions, uh, and we can help them also finding funds and, uh, on the programmatic part, let's say, of the, of the um, program. Then we have the future. Uh, we are starting with C3S hubs for, to store CO2, but uh, as an energy company, we have also some uh, adjacencies, some vertical integration, carry <laughs> possibilities with hydrogen, with biofuels, with synthetic fuels in the, in the future, with bags and duck when those will become a reality. Uh, so here we have our past, the present, and the future, more or less, in a business uh, uh, perspective. Okay, I will be, move a little bit more, uh, quicker. Uh, this is our portfolio, um, which, uh, as you can see, is uh, uh, strate strategically uh, spread about Europe. We have uh, two hubs under development uh, in, uh, in the UK. We have, uh, uh, we're in the process of acquiring Neptune Energy, and that will give us uh, a, a, a new hub uh, in, uh, in off the coast of the Netherlands. And then we have the Ravenna project that we are uh, discussing today. All these hubs together, if we just stay to the initial uh, uh, capacity, stor storage capacity, will contribute to more or less 20% of the 80 million tons that uh, IOGP thinks will be necessary in 2030. We are yesterday, Chris, uh, stating 50, but that's without uh, uh, UK. Um, and uh, that's a significant, uh, let's say, share of that, qu of that uh, need. Uh, and as we also heard, uh, and Many of us uh, have spoken about that. There is a shortage of storage capacity. So this is a, a, let's say a very good starting point. All these apps together will give us a, a capacity, a gross capacity of 1.8 gigatons, also including some <coughs> prospects, uh, some evaluations in other uh, parts of the world where ENI is present uh, um, with these upstream activities. Okay, let's come to the Ravenna project. Um, the Ravenna project is, uh, um, is uh, organized in two phases. There is a first phase, which is going to start next year in March. Uh, start injecting, I mean. They are uh, making, uh, in, um, in the execution phase now, they are constructing uh, the, the, the supporting structure, and soon we will have a capture plant in the Casal Borsetti gas station. Um, but we will start with a very small quantity, which is 25,000 tons. So why would we, did we select uh, to start with a small uh, phase with a, uh, such a small uh, quantity? Because that, that was what was possible three years ago when we started uh, the, the project. And that is uh, something we needed to have uh, the discussion around CCS, uh, uh, let's say, um, started in Italy. Uh, it has been very useful for us uh, to help uh, aggregate uh, uh, industrial players. And now the industrial players are, are going themselves uh, to the government saying, we need CCS. So please provide the necessary uh, laws, uh, regulations, and so on. Uh, it helped us start the discussion with uh, the research centers and it helped us to start the discussion with the public. So it was a specific dec a business decision, let's say, to start with the while we had the capacity also to start directly with the full industrial size, to start what, what was possible at the time uh, for, a, let's say, a, a strategic reason. Phase two is coming in 2026, and it will have the full industrial capacity of 4 million tons of, uh, per annum of, uh, of CO2. Um, and we will see in the next slides where this CO2 will come from. And then since the uh, Adriatic uh, depleted fields uh, together have uh, a capacity in excess of 500 million tons. Uh, this gives us the possibility, if the market will develop uh, as uh, we think it will, uh, to connect other reservoirs uh, and uh, um, have um, reach a, a capacity, an annual capacity of uh, 16 million tons. Of course, in doing this, we are also, uh, especially with local communities, uh, stressing uh -huh. the the economic benefits uh, to protect the, um, the jobs, uh, the existing jobs, uh, to protect the existing in, um, in industry, and to foster the, the, a new industry also. Ravenna is uh, known for its uh, upstream uh, past. For, there are many uh, companies working upstream. 
in 10 years from now, the fields will be all depleted, so either they convert to something else uh, or they will need to find new jobs. Okay, the phase one uh, is uh, capturing uh, emissions from our Casal Borsetti station, um, which actually receives the natural gas from the Adriatic uh, um, fields. Um, we are implementing a standard, let's say, uh, a mine uh, capture plant, um, which was, let's say, um, standard technology at the time. Um, we will uh, transport uh, this uh, CO2 to the uh, Porto Corsini Mare Ovest uh, um, platform, uh, which is over the same uh, reservoir. We will be using the existing infrastructure to do that. Uh, this has been uh, inspected, picked, requalified by a certification body for use with CO2, and so there will be no major um, works to perform uh, on, on shore or offshore, and this is also helps uh, in, uh, let's say, um, with local communities because there would be nothing, no, no, no problems for them, let's say, from major uh, um, works. Um, and the storage site is just one of the, I think, three levels uh, of the Porto Crocini Mare Ovest Reservoir, which is separated, hydraulically separated from the others, so it's a geological storage uh, uh, at all effects. Um, the, same, um, the same reservoir will be used then in phase two, but this is, uh, uh, this is to come. Uh, we, have, we were in the process of performing a full uh, environmental baseline. We started in March, we will uh, finish in March next year. Uh, and we already have in place, uh, because of our um, previous upstream uh, um, activities, uh, a, a full micro seismic and soil deformation network. Uh, and we're installing also, all, what is missing uh, is the, let's say, CO2 detection uh, uh, part. Uh, we're installing that uh, onshore. Phase two, more or less the same story. Uh, we are adding another uh, reservoir, which is uh, uh, Porto Garibaldi. In this case, we will have a new pipeline going there. The platform will be the same. Um, the two reservoirs together will allow us to reach uh, the 4 million tons storage capacity. CO2 will come uh, from uh, the uh, area around the Ravenna, which is an industrial site of uh, some significance. Uh, more or less 1 million tons could come from uh, Ravenna and Ferrara, which are very close. Uh, there will be also some faci e &I facilities in Porto Marghera here on shore, which will contribute something. Uh, then we will also install a receiving facility for liquid CO2, and we will see why in the next slide. And uh, um, also, the, um, maybe it's better here. Uh, as, as we have seen in the previous presentation, Northern Italy is a very highly industrialized country, uh, area. Uh, that, that's what we highlighted as area two there. Uh, so we know we have a potential of over 30 million tons in that area. Of course, uh, it's uh, a long way to reach, to, to go from Ravenna to the Milan area, for example. Uh, and this, is, will, this will be probably what it will be most uh, um, complex from a permitting point of view because uh, we have to travel through very um, uh, heavily inhabited areas. Um, so th there will, we will need some time. In parallel, this is why we are built, have built, uh, 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 have planned for the shipping facility. Um, we will be able to receive uh, CO2 also by ship, and this allows us uh, to connect uh, other parts of Italy, for example, the uh, southern part that we have seen in the previous presentation, but also other industrial clusters and clusters abroad. We had, we had contacts with France, uh, Spain, uh, um, Greece, uh, Croatia, every country around the Mediterranean has come to us uh, and we have discussed the possibility to store in, uh, in, uh, in Ravenna. These two developments uh, on shore and offshore will be in parallel, more or less, uh, and we will see, as, uh, according to the market demands, let's say, which, which one will be quicker. Finally, this is, uh, if I was, uh, have some time uh, again, one minute. Okay, this is also the um, gave us the possibility to test some new technology. Uh, this is uh, our uh, underwater aut autonomous vehicle that we have used uh, since many years for uh, upstream activities, for inspecting pipelines. 
we have retrofitted it with some uh, new sensors uh, and uh, in collaboration with OGS, we have tested it in the Panarea Island where there are uh, natural CO2 volcanic seepages to, to, to test its uh, uh, capabilities to detect CO2. You can see there the acoustic uh, mapping. We tested four different mechanisms um, and we were successful and we are integrating uh, this uh, uh, technology in our, uh, in our uh, uh, environmental plan. Finally, this is the last one. We also are part uh, of the Hercules project, which is an Horizon 2020 project, uh, uh, which is devoted to uh, test uh, uh, new technologies uh, in the capture, um, carbon capture for uh, cement plants and waste to energy plants. Our role, role will be in Italy to provide uh, the storage capacity for the CO2 which will be captured by these uh, uh, demo plants uh, in our Ravenna storage. The same will happen in Greece uh, with, uh, with Prinos. Uh, it's very important for us, uh, let's say, we are not involved uh, deeply in the innovation part, uh, but uh, our uh, project uh, will provide uh, the innovative part, the research centers, uh, to have uh, a real testing, a full chain testing of their technology. Okay, this is what uh, the, the takeaway message is. Uh, uh, so we are developing e um, Ravenna as a, a huge hub, a very large hub for the Mediterranean. Uh, to help uh, decarbonize our industry in Italy, but also abroad, and uh, to foster economic growth. Thank you.